Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed this lovesick Valentine's Day themed makeup look. Um, it's pretty much just really pink and glowy and like Valentine's Day-ish. But I have like other ideas for some other um, makeup for some other Valentine's Day makeup tutorials. So let me know if you guys want to see that. And just keep... I got lipstick on my teeth. If you guys want to see how I got the look, then just keep on watching. So I already did one eye off camera, and I'm just going to go ahead and start the other one. So I'm going to take some LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer, and I'm just going to be putting that all over my eyelid um, as a base. And then I'm going to take my Real Technique sponge and just blend that out. And then I'm just going to set that with a little bit of translucent powder. Now for the shadow, I'm going to be using my Beige Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And I'm going to use a Morphe M441 brush. And I'm going to take like a really hot pink fuchsia shade and I'm going to blend that in the crease. I'm also like kind of dragging that out so I can kind of create this little shape I have going on here. So now that I have that, I'm going to layer on some like darker pink purpley shades from the BH Cosmetics palette again. And I'm using a Morphe M526. I'm just layering this like right in the crease. I'm not um, blending above it or anything just so it can stay in the crease. And when you're doing this, you want to be careful not to put it too high or else it'll like ruin the whole look. So yeah. So now I'm going to be going into Modern Renaissance and I'm going to take the shade Love Letter since it's like a deep, like kind of burgundy but like still pinkish. Um, I'm not good at describing shades so like I know. I'm going to be applying that kind of in the same area and I'm going to start focusing that in my inner and outer corners. Okay. And this is kind of going to take um, a lot of blending and a lot of like building up. So take your time with it because it's going to be a process. And if you need to, like if it starts looking weird, kind of like how mine is right now, I'm just going to go back um, with this M441 and just blend it, um, blend out the edges. Like what am I saying? So next I'm going to take the black shade from the BH Cosmetics palette. And with the same brush, I'm going to be applying that like really far out in my outer corner and then really in towards my inner corner. I know that black can be a little intimidating so just be really careful whenever you're using it and make sure to use a small brush it's okay if you don't have this exact brush but as long as you're using um as long as you're using something small and precise you'll be okay girl and also don't blend and like try to drag it out outside of your eyelid like i kind of did that with this one but i saved it blend it out but don't break now i'm gonna go back now I'm going to go back with the Morphe M526, M I can't read, M562, and I'm going to like pencil, I don't know how to describe, pencil in my crease right here. Yeah, like, you know, so the black doesn't start to take over. Then I'm just going to keep adding in more black little by little. Now that I basically have my shadow, it's time to do the halo eye. So I'm going to be taking a little flat brush. And I'm going to take some um, of the concealer that I used earlier. I'm going to get it on my brush. Like so. It's kind of hard to explain this, so like, just watch what I do. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm going to take the, this is a MAC 242, I think, and I'm going to be taking um, Pink Champagne. It's like right here. I was like, what is this called? I'm going to be taking Pink Champagne, and um, I'm going to put, oh my god, what? Oh my boy, y'all see that? Let me take a step back and reevaluate the situation because, um, okay, I just had to re- do it a little higher um because i guess my crease was like no god so i did a little higher anyways i'm gonna take pink champagne and place that where i have the concealer okay it looks really weird right now but i'm gonna take um this brush i used earlier and i'm just gonna take the transition shades from the bh cosmetics palette and i'm just gonna be patting this in between the black and where the pink champagne meet so i can start to blend that in i'm like kind of pressed that this crease is like higher than this one now but also, um, whenever you're doing this, you want to be really careful. Just, like, 
make sure you're giving it like that gradient look so really quick off camera i just applied some liner on the top of my eyelid and then i put some lashes these are the aliexpress lashes because you know your girl be broke so moving on to the face i'm gonna spray some rose water on my skin to hydrate for primer i'm gonna be using maybelline baby skin the foundation i'm gonna be using is the maybelline in i mean maybelline <laughs> what the l'oreal infallible pro matte foundation this is shade 124 um I'm just using this foundation because I'm not going anywhere right now. It's Friday night and it's like 10.30. And I'm just doing this for like, you know, YouTube. If I were to actually go anywhere, I probably wouldn't wear this foundation. I just kind of like using it um, like for videos and stuff because it's really full coverage and it's matte so it looks good on camera. I like it. It's just that it's really thick and my skin is dry and it's already a matte foundation. So they like, you know, don't mix to highlight and conceal i'm going to be using pro conceal again in porcelain so now that i have my concealer and foundation on i'm only going to set my under eyes with some cody um airspun translucent powder now i'm going to go on my lower lash line with some of the pink shades from the bh cosmetics palette for bronzer i'm going to go in with my busted um butter bronzer from physicians formula and i'm using a morphe r14 brush For blush, I'm using Tarte's Party Blush. So I'm just applying this all, all over my cheeks, girl. Like, get in there. And then I'm going to be putting some on my nose. Just on the tip and the bridge. And then for highlighter, I'm going to use ColourPop's Flexitarian. And I'm taking this on a Morphe, what is this, M501 brush. This is also broken, like, what's new though? Oh my god, I forgot how serious this highlighter was. Oh my god. Oh my god. I might have put too much, but I'm gonna roll with it. I'm also gonna be using Flexitarian on my inner corners. I look extremely glowy, but I swear it's because Flexitarian is like some next level type ish, you know what I'm saying? So... so now for the lips, I'm going to create like a gradient lip and I'm going to be using the Too Faced um, Melted, this one, it's like kind of old, but this is in the shade Melted Fig and I'm just going to be applying this to the center of my lips and then I'm going to be blending that out. So that is it for this Valentine's Day look. Let me know what you guys, um, I'm like getting this lipstick all over my fingers. I have more ideas for like some other Valentine's Day looks in the future. So let me know if you guys want to see like more of those. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.